Oh, hey, uh, Father Tommy, do you mind if we put our world record largemouth bass up here with your other um, <clears throat> trophies? Uh, Tom? Uh, I guess that's a no. Okay, fine. We'll just slap it down there behind you. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome back to the Long Dark. We're here at the community hall with all the six survivors, and the blizzard is bearing down on top of us. It is a whole... Well, it's not a whole new day. I spent all day getting prepared for this. It is now nighttime. And we're going to go to bed here shortly and uh, and kick off that storm simply by moving some wood into the pantry. And that ought to do it. That's all we have to do. And then that blizzard's going to arrive. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. It's a huge one. Now let's go bring this big raw bass, world record 33 pounder, across the street where it'll be safe. I don't trust these people. They might eat it. You don't eat a 33-pound world record trophy bath. <laughs> so I did look that up, by the way. I was curious. Um, the world record, not the not the world record. The United States record is 22 pounds, and this thing is 33 pounds. It's enormous. So we're gonna keep it for prosperity. It is so dark in here. Let's drop it right here. Kaplunk, and get back out. Where's the dang door? Okay, world record largemouth bass is now safe. Let's go do one more thing before we head back to the community hall and get this blizzard coming. I want to see if there's any more coal around here. Oh, here we go. Another search, uh, another coal bin, and it has not been searched. Perfect tinder plug. I don't think we need that, but we'll grab the um, grab the coal. Wow. Yeah, because once that blizzard hits, I don't know how long it's going to last. Of course, if we're in the community hall, they have a uh, perpetual fire, but we might have to go and do something for somebody. I don't know. Any more coal bins over here? No. Um, so I want to be prepared for everything. So yes, I do have the... Uh, got the rifle here. Here's another coal bin. And I went back to the bunker that we found... Oh, that we raided in the last episode right here, but we left a lot of stuff there. I decided to go and grab it all. Oh, look at this. We haven't been here either. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, perfect. Um, so I grabbed some MREs. I grabbed all the ammunition and some food and brought it back here because, again, I don't know what's going to happen when this blizzard strikes. So I want to be prepared for that. So now uh, we have some stuff here on us. I put some stuff in the house. I did all that off camera because it was just a, a lot of running back and forth and kind of boring. But now the night is upon us and that storm is coming as soon as we kick it off here. Oh, we got a lot of shells over here. We're going to leave them. Can't make bullets in the story mode as far as I know. Okay, we're back. You guys miss us? Let's check the water. Nine more minutes until melted. Holy cow, this takes forever. Well, seems like we got a little time to kill. So let's sit by the fire and have a look at Astrid's new clothing. So we found the combat pants in the bunker and I fixed them all up. And they're really nice, much better than the cargo pants. And we have the new mukluks and those are all fixed up as well. And I think that was it. Oh, and the, uh, the air wraps, which actually goes into the accessory slot. They're super nice and very warm. They cover up Astrid's ears so they don't freeze and fall off. And I fixed those up as well. So yeah, we're looking mighty fine. Check out all that warmth bonus and windproof bonuses and protection and, well, sprint's a little low. It's a little heavy, but I'd rather be heavy than frozen. Uh, all right, 46 minutes until boiled. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's make, uh, well, let's, let's boil it. Pass that time. Boil it up. Grab it. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Yeah, hold on. And we're gonna cook up some uh, some tea before bed. Pass the time. Take it. Oop, I meant to drink it. And drink that tea. All right. Uh, we have a ton of coal on us. Is that why we're so super heavy right now? Oh, yeah. We'll drop some of that back at the house before we head out in the morning. But I think right now it is time to hit the sack. Good night, everybody. I'm going to sleep right here tonight. And then uh, we'll kick off the storm. Or well, maybe we should just kick off the storm now. Uh, does that make sense? And then sleep through the night. Maybe it'll pass. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Okay, everybody, we're going to throw the last bits of wood in your, uh, your cabinet over here, your, your larder. 
and then see what happens. Fire. Fire logs. One, two, three, and that'll do it. That'll do it. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Hippocratic Oath, yes. <laughs> We're gonna stay right here with you people. Astrid is a doctor. Uh, whoa, Tommy? Oh, uh, it's time for a sermon. Talk to Father Thomas. Hey, Tom, can, can we come up there? Can we talk here, buddy? Can we talk here? Yeah, I guess, oh, sorry. <laughs> Stepped on that dude's head. I'm coming up, coming up. Oh, I didn't know we could come up here. Thomas, he's meditating. Tommy, we did the thing with the thing. I'll just talk to your back. It's a little rude. Oh, hi. We did it. Thank you for your efforts. Uh huh. You have likely saved the lives of all these people. They now have a fighting chance to last through this storm. You have done God's work here, and He will forever look favorably upon you. Thank you, Father. Do you think while looking favorably on me, he could also help me find a way out of here? As I said, the usual paths are blocked. But the blizzard, it may have displaced enough snow to... To what? There is another route. It's a dangerous one. Through the mountains. I'll take my chances. I really need to get to Perseverance Mills. If things are this bad here, they'll be worse. Look, I just need to get there. Can you help me? An entrance to the old coal mine. If the blizzard moved enough snow, you might be able to get in there. It passes through the mountain. After that, you'll find the highway. It follows the coastline. Follow the highway and God willing, You'll get to Perseverance Mills. Here, I'll draw it on your map for you. Thank you, Father. My thanks to you, my child. And if you'll permit an old priest an indulgence, I'd like to share some wisdom with you. Go ahead, Father. Your burden. I see it weighs heavily on you. I, I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. You do not have to carry it alone. Look, thank you, Father. But religion isn't really... I don't say this as an attempt to sway your thinking or help you find faith. But find something, someone, to help with your burden. Otherwise it will consume you. Look around you, Father. I think the Lord may have his hands full right now. Whatever burdens I may have, they're mine to bear. And mine alone. However crowded his table, there is always a seat for you, my child. I'll keep it in mind, Father. Here, you should take this back. Keep it, my child. I fear you will have need of it before this long winter is done. Hey, what am I, chopped liver? I've been with Astrid since the start, pal. I've been giving her all kinds of positive thoughts and uh, moral support and all that. Hey, yeah, yeah, this guy. Oh, by the way, can we put that fish up on the wall now that we did all these nice things for you? <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, all right, so we have a new we have a new thing to do. Let's hunker down here. Oh gosh, you can hear that wind now! Holy smokes, it's here! And we have a new uh, a new mission. Aftermath. You've brought the heal. You've brought healing and respite to the people at Thompson's Crossing. Your work at the community hall is complete. Do what you need to do before leaving Pleasant Valley. Already did all that. Way ahead of you. Well, except for that. But I don't care about the forest talker stuff. We did complete all the side quests. Um, so I guess what that means is just get ready. And I think, I think we're ready. So apparently we didn't lose anything here. That's good to know. Um, I'm going to drop some of the coal. We clearly don't need it. Well, you know, I'm going to drop it at the house because I still don't know if I'm going to lose this stuff here. So, yeah, we should probably go to bed. Do we still have that sleepy benefit? Yes, we have improved rest that lasts quite a long time. 
Let's go to bed and maybe we can just sleep this blizzard off. Wasn't so bad, people. I told you. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna save it first just in case. You never know, something could go terribly, terribly wrong due to technical difficulties. And, uh, boy, we're gonna, we need a lot of sleep here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with eight hours of sleep. Wait, are we fed and everything? Oh, no, jeez. Yeah, we should drink some water. All right, we don't want dry mouth in the middle of the night. Bad, bad, bad. All right, eight hours of sleep ought to do it. And hopefully... This blizzard will blow right over. Uh, the blizzard did not blow right over. I still hear it. <laughs> and it's still dark. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we're pretty well rested up. So let's, um, let's, let's make some coffee. Oh, actually, let's do this. We'll put the coffee in here. Got plenty of that. And we're also going to cook up some dusty tomato soup. And I have a bunch of MREs on me, too, that we got from the bunker. I'm going to hang on to those. We'll bring those with. All right, let's speed that up. I can't wait for my coffee. I think I'm just going to take it and not drink it right now. We don't need it. So we'll bring that with us, and we will eat this for the warming-up benefit. There we go. Getting very strategic here. And we shall drink regular old water, be hydrated and ready to rock and roll. Let's run to the house and drop some things here that we don't need because we are still kind of heavy. And then uh, I guess we got to go. Well, let's check the map. What do we have to do? We got to go somewhere. Somewhere. What the heck? There's nothing on the map. So Father Tommy here gave us a map. Let's see. Where is the map? Examine the map. Uh, map of Mount Pleasant. So here's the community hall. And we have to go up and around and down here to the mine. Is that that's does that look right to you? All right. Well, that's not too far. I think we can do it up here and then down there. And I don't know what's going to happen after that. All right. Let's head over. To what the heck? Oh, it's Molly. Hello, Molly. Hello, Molly. Wow. I hate to be a foregone conclusion. Well, I don't seem to get a lot of other calls out here. I want to know something. Why did you work so hard to help those strangers? Would they have done the same for you? I have no idea. I doubt they would. You probably work all day, every day. Bust your ass to help people. Delivering babies, or researching, or whatever it is you do. Does anyone really notice? I I'm not sure, but I don't do it for that. You don't do it for recognition because you don't get any. What is this about, really? I could have been something, too. Something more than a farmer's wife. Something more than a cattleman's daughter. I'm sure you could have, Molly. Don't patronize me. I could have been something, but I let him stop me. I let myself be small so he could feel like somebody. I gave up everything for him. And to him, I didn't even exist. I let him make me small. Less than nothing. What happened to him, Molly? You wouldn't understand. Did he hurt you? Did you kill him? There's different ways to hurt people. Some ways heal. Other ways never do. And I told you. The wolves killed them. <sighs> Never mind that. I called to tell you something. What did you call to tell me, Molly? There's an old radio tower. On the top of the hill, overlooking my farm, you can see the tower from my porch. Not sure if you can get it working, but the radio up there would be good enough to reach Perseverance Mills. You can maybe find out about your guy. The precious mystery thing that you hope he has. A radio? But why, why'd you wait so long to tell me? And, also, girl gets lonely out here, I guess. It was nice to have someone to talk to. Okay, then. That Molly calls at the worst time. So what is this? Go to Signal Hill. <laughs> okay. 
This is something new. Is this a side quest or something? Go to Signal Hill. Oh, here it is. Go to Signal Hill. It's part of the Aftermath quest. I gotcha. All right. Well, let's see. Is it on the map now? Oh, there it is. Wait, we've been to Signal Hill before, right? Well, not as Astrid, but with Will. <laughs> okay, that's a long way, but it looks like uh, that is what we need to do, because that's the only location on the map currently that is a quest. So we just follow the road, I suppose. It's right down the road, but we're going to have to brave this blizzard. Um, you know what? I'm curious about all the stuff that we gave these dudes. Can we still get in here? Oh, it's all still here? That's crazy. All right, well, we're kind of hungry, so... Oh, I can't get it out, though. I can't I can't take it back. <laughs> I was hoping maybe I could grab a quick snack. No such luck. All right, man, it's still dark out there. Well, we got to get a move on. We ain't afraid of no blizzard. Holy moly. This is a blizzard, all right. I mean, we've been through some pretty harsh storms here in the long dark, but this one takes the cake. Whew. Holy smokes, I can't even see. It's so dark in here. All right, let's light up. Wish this sun would hurry up and come up. Uh, where's that fish at? <laughs> barely walked with this much gear. Uh, yeah, 33 pounds. Put it right here on the counter. There we go. Um, now, I'm going to drop some of the coal. We don't need to carry all this coal around. Might need some of it, though. I'm going to drop ten, and we'll hang on to three, and we're still a little bit underweight. I don't know why we're so heavy. I just feel like I'm carrying everything. There's a ton of water, too. We don't need all that water. Let's drop half. Yeah, I thought we were leaving this area. That's why I grabbed everything, but it looks like we might be sticking around a little longer. So let's... Tear down the pack just a tiny weeny bit here. So we'll drop a few things. Uh, okay. I think we're ready. Just kill the light and let's head out. And let's get going to the radio tower signal thingamabob. Holy moly. Yeah, we're really going to have to move pretty quickly here. And we just have to follow the road all the way down. And we're going to run as much as possible. We could have used some coffee right now. I wonder if that coffee's still hot. Is it? Oh, it's still hot. Drink it. Nice. Okay. Nice and toasty now for a few minutes anyway. Oh. Uh-oh. Is that the rumblings again? Some kind of a earthquake or something? That's not good. Oh no! It's the wolves! Dang nabbit! Ooh! Oh, it's a big pack! Look at the size of this this uh, line, the, the meter. Alright, well, you know what? We got a rifle now! Should do some serious damage. Uh, where they at? Oh, I missed. Ooh, here he comes! Shoot him in the face! Ooh! <laughs> Delayed reaction death there. That's right. This this uh, this thing's got some power. A lot more power than the handgun. So we should be able to kill them if we get a good headshot in. Bring it on here, fool. Man, this gun, you just can't turn it fast. Alright, I'm gonna keep moving. We can't stand here and fight this silly... silly wolf. Come on, puppy! Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it! That did not kill him. That's crazy. Alright, reload! Delays, delays. We got plenty of ammo that we found down in the bunker, among other places, so I'm not going to be shy about shooting at these Fulios. Okay, where are we? Eh, maybe a third of the way. And Astrid's teeth are already chattering. But I think we can do it. Ooh. Wow, this wind is blowing hard. But at least it's at our backs. And it's giving Astrid a nice shove. Keeping her moving forward at a nice pace. 
And we're getting real close. We might have to stop with that purple cache and warm up a tad. Oh, watch out, big snowbank. Yeah, maybe we can get to the purple cache and duck inside real quick and warm up. I don't remember if there was a wood stove there to cook on, but it would be nice to maybe make some more coffee or something. Uh, it's past the Did river. I, I hate being cold because I really do. Me too. Let's hustle. Uh-oh, we're in the red now. We are in the red. Who's this dude? Dead prison guard. Oh, we already searched him. I don't remember him. All right, we got to go past the river on the other side and then get to this bunker before Astrid gets hypothermic. Hopefully we can find it in this... Uh, oh, gosh. There it is. There it is. Hypothermic risk. It's so cold. I just... Lay down no lay down. No lay down. Stop that talk. Crazy talk. We're gonna get to that bunker. Um, I lost the hatch. There it is. Oh, watch your step. Watch your step. Oh, good. It's not frozen shut. Thankfully. Whew. Perfect timing. Okay, put that riffle away. We don't need it down here. I think we're relatively safe. All right, so did we leave anything behind that we could use right now? Um, yeah, oh, moldy? Moldy peanut butter, 13%? Ain't touching that. <laughs> How about that candy bar? Okay, that we can eat. Yeah, there's no, um, there's no stove here. We can't light a fire down here either. So it's gonna take a few minutes to warm up and I imagine the clothing is all soaked. It sure is. But we're not that far from the uh, the signal hill, and I'm, I'm assuming that's a building that we can get inside. This is Molly's bar, but we're not, not going to Molly's. She might have a fire, but I think that woman is in bunkers. Uh, we could pass the time playing Old Maid. We got some cards here. <laughs> or, better yet, let's hop into bed. Sure, we'll reduce fatigue and we'll warm up. Look at that, three up arrows in bed. Hey, move your move over. Get your elbow out of my ear. Thank you. Oh yeah, perfect. And let's eat some pinnacle peaches, 55%. They're cold, but it will fill us up and hydrate somewhat. Nom 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 nom. Mmm mmm mmm. Tea, not delicious. All right, there we go. Plenty of leeway for weight, and let's head out. Whoo! Still stormy, of course. Now the question is, how do we get up this hill? I'm wondering if this road leads to it. Uh, well, let's just go in that general direction, which um, I believe is this way. Where's my little arrow? Nope, there it is. Yeah, it's a good thing we have that arrow. You don't get that in survival mode. I know I've mentioned that in the past, and that is a game changer in story mode. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna head down here, and I'm, I'm wondering if maybe this road leads up. We'll find out when we get there. Just like a lot of things in this game, we'll find out when we get there. So keep your pants on, have patience, and keep moving. I think we can duck behind a tree every once in a while, and block the wind. Oh, check that out. Oh, that's so cool. I wasn't sure that was the thing, but it sure is. I mean, but you can't stand still forever. That's kind of dumb. Oh, we got a cave here. Ooh. Have we been here before? Hello? Bear? Wolves? Anybody? Bigfoot? Nothing. All right. Can we warm up way in the back? No. It's so cold today, we can't even warm up in this cave unless we get a fire started. Um, which I think is unnecessary because we're so close to Signal Hill. And I'm sure we'll be able to warm up once we get there. So let's let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Now, the question is, can we go up and around to the left and cut through? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> That's a big old rock. Maybe we should go around to the right. And then cut up that way. That doesn't look possible either, does it? Oh my. No. Holy cow. Alright, this 
Oh, there's a rope here. Say what? And we can climb it. Go, Astrid, go. Oh, boy. Uh-oh, wait a minute. She's running out of energy. Is it? Oh, now what happens? Oh, no. I don't know what happens when her hand... Oh, oh, meter. Let's... Oh. What? Keep going. You're fine. A little ice or something. I don't know what happened. Oh my gosh, this is frightening. Maybe we should have drank like an energy drink or something first. She is underweight. So that's not an issue. Oh, look at her temps dropping. It's flashing. She's getting really tired here too. This might be the only way up. Well, it's a shortcut. Shortcuts are good. Some oh no, no.